What if, right in front of our eyes, the world as we know it is about to change for the better? What forces are at work below the surface to drive a wedge through an entire continent? Hello guys! Explore the heart of Africa's untamed wilderness with us as we peel back the layers of the mystery and truth behind this amazing change. Are you ready to discover the secrets of Earth's ever-changing story? But before we start, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for regular updates. Let's get started. The East African Rift The outer layer of the Earth is called the lithosphere, and it is made up of big, solid pieces called tectonic plates. The movement of the semi-solid layer called the asthenosphere below these plates keeps them moving, though slowly. The movements of these tectonic plates cause earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and the formation of mountains. In East Africa, there is a region called the East African Rift System, or ears, where a unique geological phenomenon is happening. This region is made up of three tectonic plates that are moving against each other. As the Somali plate and the Arabian plate move apart, the Earth's crust in the area gets thinner and thinner until it breaks apart. This makes what is called a rift valley, which is a long valley with cracks, fissures, and volcanic activity. Over millions of years, the tectonic plates in the East African rift system will continue to move apart, making the rift valley wind further. As the rift valley grows, the ocean will finally flood the area, creating a new ocean. What causes rage? When a horizontal extensional force acts on a lithosphere, the lithosphere will stretch, causing a decrease in thickness. It will also split, which will lead to the formation of a rift valley. This process is followed by signs on the surface, like earthquakes and volcanoes along the rift valley. Rifts are the first step in the breakup of a continent, which, if it works, can lead to a new ocean area. There are also rifts in other countries. Continental rifting, the African rift, is an example of an active type of rift in which the movement of the mantle under the surface is the main cause of the stresses that cause the roof to form. Underneath this rift, a large mantle plume is pushing the lithosphere up, which is making the lithosphere thinner because of the rise in temperature, as well as the strain and fracture caused by vaulting. Rift Valleys Rifts have a very unique landscape that is made up of a series of depressions separated by faults and surrounded by higher ground. From space, you can see that the East African system is made up of a series of aligned rift valleys that are physically separated from each other by huge bounding faults. These cracks didn't all happen at the same time. Instead, they followed a pattern that started in northern Ethiopia 30 million years ago and spread south to Zimbabwe at an average rate of 2.5 to 5 centimeters per year. Even though most people can't feel earthquakes, they can be caused by the creation of new faults, fissures, and cracks, as well as the resumption of movement along previously established faults as the Anubian and Somali plates continue to move apart. On the other hand, rifty can also be caused by the movement of the plates themselves. Most of the earthquakes in East Africa are spread out over a large area that includes Thrift Valley, and they are not very big. Consequences When the African continent finally breaks in two, there will be a series of gradual changes in the environment, ecosystems, and human societies. However, it's important to remember that this process will take millions of years, so there will be plenty of time to adapt and less chance of sudden and catastrophic events. One of the biggest effects of this continental split will be more volcanic and seismic activity along the rift zone. This is because the movement of tectonic plates along the rift may cause more earthquakes and other types of seismic activity. Even though most of these earthquakes are likely to be small, there is a chance that bigger, more damaging ones could happen and threaten people and buildings in the affected areas. As the rift valley gets bigger and finally turns into an ocean basin, it will have a big effect on the drainage patterns and ecosystems in the area. Changing the river melodies that are already there, new lakes are being formed, and some modern bodies may disappear. These changes can have big effects on local ecosystems and the people who depend on these water resources. Once the rift valley turns into an ocean basin, 
The newly formed coast will be subject to coastal erosion, sedimentation, and other coastal processes. Also, as the new ocean basin fills with water, the new coast will be subject to coastal erosion, sedimentation, and other coastal processes. There may be a slight rise in sea levels around the world, which could make coastal floods worse. The splitting of Africa into two different landmasses will also have long-term effects on the economy and politics. New borders will need to be set up, and the way resources are distributed may change. Roads and bridges will need to adapt to the new landscape, and people who live near the split zone may need to move. Dividing Africa into two countries could cause a number of dangers and problems, such as more volcanoes and earthquakes and changes in drainage patterns and ecosystems, changes to the coast and their economic and political effects. Measures for safety. As a result of the Earth's natural evolution, this is a continental rift. However, there are ways to avoid potential dangers and get ready for the long-term effects. Scientists can learn a lot about the ongoing processes and potential dangers by closely watching the geological activity in the East African Rift System. Construction in high-risk areas, like near active volcanoes or along fault lines, can help reduce the effects of future natural disasters. Local governments should also invest in disaster preparation and response measures to reduce the effects of natural disasters. To deal with the long-term effects of this geological event, it will be important to work with neighboring countries and international organizations to develop joint strategies for monitoring preparedness and response. Since this is a very slow process that takes place over millions of years, we won't see any dramatic changes. The breakup of Africa into two continents happened during our lifetimes and is a fascinating example of how the steady movement of tectonic plates shapes our planet's surface, even though the changes don't happen on a human time scale. Understanding these geological processes helps us understand how the Earth's bedrock is always changing. That's it for today. What do you think about this incredible discovery? Let us know in the comments section. Please like and share our videos. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for regular updates.